For years, commercial fishermen of New England have worked some of the most dangerous waters in the world, but now a downward spiral of crushing regulations has fishermen fighting to stay afloat. The future of fishing would, would be a lot brighter if, if we were able to catch you know, more of these species that have come back to astonishing numbers. Aaron Williams, along with many other fishermen, question these new regulations. This, some of the, the strictest regulations in the world, and if people are all about sustainability and, and, and making sure that fish stocks aren't overfished, I would personally rather eat a fish from the U.S. Between 87 and 90 percent of the fish that's ate in this country is imported. These crushing regulations not only affect fishermen, but also any shoreline business dealing with local fish. Mike Gambardella, owner of Gambardella's Wholesale, expresses his concerns. We also had 20 employees here about 10 years ago, maybe 12. Right now we're down to six, and I can't even afford the six I'm doing right now. And the consumer's getting hurt as well as we are. Times are tough for the fishing industry, and without any immediate changes in regulations, the oldest industry in New England could be jeopardized. This is Andrew Williams, you're playing for Fox 61 Student News.